Hey guys, Karim Bilani from Mobi Scrub here and we'd be reviewing the gaming performance of the Galaxy On 6. It's got a 1.6 GHz octa-core processor with 4 gigs of RAM and it's got a Mali 830 GPU. All of these are at best decent performing specifications so let's just get into it and see how the device really performs and how well has Samsung optimized the gaming performance of the device. Now I just launched Asphalt 8 and we're just looking at how long it takes to load the game uh, and it's really not that bad I mean I think it's just about okay a couple of seconds more than you know the best of flagships but I guess that's expected now even when it comes to loading levels obviously it depends on the game and how long that level or how much of uh, background needs to be loaded uh, but yeah it does take a bit more than usual that I've seen on obviously the great smartphones but it's again nothing too bad and now that the game has started and I could see all the animations here and it looks pretty normal. I mean, I've played this game on God knows how many devices, uh, the best of devices as well. And it, it plays really well, I think, for a device that's, uh, you know, an upper entry level smartphone and it's just got about decent specifications. I think it's doing great. It's really smooth. Uh, I don't really experience any frame lag or any sort of delay or frame dropping. It's pretty smooth, pretty responsive. Um, this is, again, you know, the, the reaction time to when I'm pressing something and what's happening on the screen is quite, uh, quite nice. And I think I'm doing a great job here knocking down all, all these cars. But yeah, uh, the game's performing really well. And another thing to keep in mind is that it's a 720p display. It's not a 1080p full HD display, but... Uh, the game looks pretty sharp, even for a 720p display. So I think it's optimizing. The game also optimizes itself for the kind of display that it's it's coming on. And I think Asphalt 8 here has done a great job. And again, despite being a 720p display, I don't really see any sort of pixelation or, you know, low detail. I think it's doing a pretty good job. So despite the fact it's 720p display, I'm really not complaining about it. And I don't feel very different. Uh, from playing on a 1080p display and I'm not even exaggerating here I love sharp displays but this one's just really not making a lot of difference I also tried playing Chameleon Run which is a fairly resource intensive game it does take up a lot of your processing power um, and RAM and now here I could actually see a bit of frame lag I mean I'm not sure if you could make that out while I'm playing here on and you know when I'm shooting all of this through a camera but yeah it's not really very smooth and I've definitely played chameleon run on other phones that are, that's a lot smoother uh, than the galaxy on 6 so again it's a lot to do also with how games themselves optimize for uh, you know low-end specifications or uh, or middle level specifications and now we move on to Modern Combat 5. While I'm playing the game, it, it's, it's again very smooth, alright? There's no lag of any sort like we saw in Chameleon Run. Again, very, very smooth gameplay. Look at the smoke that's coming. Look at, look at that gun firing and, and, you know, the way that bullets fired. Very smooth again. But what I notice here is that the graphic quality is quite low. So this hasn't optimized itself as well uh, to a 720p display and I can definitely see some quality drop in terms of the detail. Uh, again, you know, the game is made for full HD or 4K displays on smartphones, but this is a 720p display and Modern Combat 5 is not really adjusting too well in this one. Again, it all might look the same to you on the camera but I can tell you for a fact that it's not as sharp. So yeah, that's one of those things. But again, the game plays really well, uh, very seamless, uh, no frame lag or any kind of uh, skipping of frames. So it's pretty good. All right, we're gonna try two more games. One is Cover Fire and the other one is Shadow Fight 3, which is gonna come right after this. And if you haven't played this game, it's really nice. Uh, it's a very different take on, on shooting games. So I really like it. Anyway, try it if you haven't. Coming back to how the Galaxy On 6 handles this game, it's somewhere between Chameleon Run and, and uh, Asphalt 8. So it's not as smooth as Asphalt 8, but it's not as bad as Chameleon Run. And again, as I said, it's got a lot to do with how games themselves optimize 
for lower end specifications or mid range specifications. Yeah, because you could see that Asphalt 8 did great, Chameleon Run didn't do that well, Modern Combat 5 did somewhere in between, and so does Cover Fire. And coming to the last one is Shadow Fight 3. This is again going to be a surprise because this is also a very high definition game. But this has optimized itself very well for the Galaxy On 6. Good colors, good detail, no lag, no delay, no skipping of frames or anywhere, you know, frames dropping off. So the game's optimized itself pretty well. And, you know, unless you were to play this game on the Galaxy S9 Plus with the 2K display on the side, you really wouldn't know the difference between playing it on a 720p display or a 1080p display or a 2K or a 1440p display. So I'm not saying that it's going to be sharper on those phones, definitely. But when you're playing this game on just this one phone, you really wouldn't know much of a difference. So don't hold yourself back on the display just because of that. Of course, there's a lot more that's, that can be done with the phone. You know, I really think that the processor could have been much better and it could have been just a better CPU with a better GPU, but they didn't go with it. So you've got an Antutu score of 63,000, which is just about okay, you know? It's, it's very, very decent, very average. And there are other smartphones in the market that offer you a higher performance score for a much lesser price. And here you go, you know, you've got the Redmi Note 5, the Honor 7X, and the Zenfone Max Pro. So if you're looking at it from a per performance angle, definitely give it another thought. But it did play all the games fairly well, except for Chameleon Run, which obviously requires more power. But otherwise, I think it fared decently across all games, and all of them being high definition games. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching.